Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. It's my daily meditation that I do. I record it and release it because maybe somebody else out there can get something out of it. I do it for myself because I want to become a better principled person. You know, I just so happen to love God, you know. Um, choose God this day. You don't have to be perfect. The bad guys, they sin. The good guys, we sin. We all sin. It's whom you serve. You know, I uh, read out of three major religious texts, the Bible, the Quran, and I'm in a, a, a introductory uh, paperback called The Shape of Suffering. It's a Buddhist text. So I read the text word for word, and uh, I'm not leaving out any words. I'm not editing anything. You know, choose hope, choose love, choose joy, choose peace. Choose it. Love yourself first. If you love yourself first and, and nobody else loves you, you'll be okay. You know, you can't, you can't expect somebody else to love you. If they love you, that's just a bonus. That's a bonus, but you can't expect that. If you do have other people that love you, you're blessed and, and thank God for that. You know, don't get caught up in the religious debates about this, that, and the other. Just believe in God, you know. Don't worry, don't worry about all the other extra stuff. That's just going to be a ploy of Satan to divide you and keep you from his, from the love of God. So don't, don't, don't get caught up in the debate. Just love God. He's, they're real. The heavenly hosts are real people. They're real. Anyway, I'm, I'm still, uh, I, oh yeah. And I usually rotate each of these texts twice. I hit them at least twice a week. Uh, so we're still in on the Quran. We're back on the rotation for the Quran. So, uh, we're still in chapter two, but we're moving along. We're in section 23 and it's called fasting. All you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that ye may guard against evil for a certain number of days. But whoever among you is sick or on a journey, he shall fast. He shall, excuse me, but whoever among you is sick or on a journey, he shall fast a like number of of other days and those who find it extremely hard may affect redemption by feeding a poor man so whoever does good spontaneously it is better for him and that you fast is better for you if you know the month of ramadan is that in which the quran was revealed a guidance to men and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion so whoever of you is present in the month he shall fast therein, and whoever is sick or on a journey, he shall fast a like number of other days. Allah desires ease for you, and he excuse me, and he desires not hardships for you. He desires that you should complete the number, that you should exalt the greatness of Allah for having guided you, and and that you may give thanks. And when my servants ask thee concerning me, surely I am nigh. I answered the prayer of the supplant when he calls on me so they should hear my call and believe in me that they may walk in the right way it is made lawful for you to go in to your wives on the night of fast they are in apparel for you and you are in apparel for them Allah knows that you acted unjustly to yourself so he turned to you in mercy and removed the burden from you so now be in contact with them and seek what Allah has ordained for you and eat and drink until the whiteness of the day becomes distinct from the blackness of the night of dawn. Excuse me. From the blackness of the night at dawn. Then complete the fast till nightfall and touch them not while you keep to the mosque. These are the limits of Allah, so go not near them. Thus does Allah make clear his messages for men that they may keep their duty. And swallow up, excuse me, and swallow not up your property among yourselves by false means, nor seek to gain access thereby to, to judge, excuse me, and swallow up your property among yourselves by false means, nor seek to gain access thereby to the judges so that ye may swallow up a part of the property of men wrongfully while you know. Remember, smile this day anyway and reach out to one person at a time, one person at a time, one person at a time, okay?